In this video, we're going to go over placement of some objects. And the first thing I'm going to go over is placement of a light. And you can see we've kind of already placed one here. Uh, but I want to go over what happens when you try to place it and if you want to move it after. So let's go to the first floor here. And we want to place a light on either side of these doors, like that's shown here. Um, the first thing I want to mention um, with these lights is right now you can see them, but you're actually seeing what's called an underlay. So I'm just going to turn that off for a second. And the reason why you can't click them and select them is that underlay, um, you're not allowed to really select stuff within that underlay. A couple different things with that one is um, often they're shown in the ceiling view. Um, so you'll be able to select and place them there. So now that we're in our ceiling view, I'm just going to go to um, systems here and I'm going to go to lighting fixture and we can place a couple. So I'm going to place on face. So it wants us to place them on the floor. Let's place on work plane and let's select a work plane um, to be this outside wall here. So you can see, I'm just going to change this to hidden line view. So you can see we place those two lights there. That's kind of the one trick about lights, and the lights are also in the wrong orientation, which um, now they're kind of light source symbol size default elevation. Let's pick plane again. We'll pick this wall plane. I'm not sure why. So offset, let's try this four inches. No, that's not doing it. it. Might just be that this family is not a great family for placing lights. Um, but anyways, that's how you select them by going to um, the ceiling view instead of the floor plan view. And just be careful you know, with these floor plans that you turn the underlays off when you're done working with that because the underlays, it's almost like working with trace paper. It's You, you don't actually see what's there. Um, the other thing you can actually try to adjust is the view, the cup plane. So we want this cup plane to be four feet. There we go. Now we see everything on that second floor. Um, and then again, for the second floor, we want to see the second floor ceiling plane to actually see those lights. Well, it's kind of weird that these are not, looks like that one's placed correctly. So let's, let's just actually, let's try placing one again. And we'll see what happens. Let's place them. If, they're, if it's a wall-based family, that's kind of ideal because it'll just kind of snap to the wall. Let's see where I just placed those ones. Placing a 3D seems to be decent. Oh, never mind. So these ones might be actually attached. I think they're attached to the floor. So you need to place them on the second floor and then um, edit them in the ceiling plan. Let me see how that worked. Yeah, that's so that's what's going on. So you need to place them on the first floor because they're actually attached to the floor down here. And then you, if you want to move, once you move, want to move them, you want to move to the second floor to adjust that. 